I'm here down at Lake Leota with Jonathan Wildey, who is one of the painters for the Theodore Robinson Plain Air event that we have this year. And Jonathan, tell me a little bit about what work you're working on right now and the inspiration behind this. Um, well, I'm painting the lake and the um, park store, and I'm doing it as a nocturne because I was attracted to the setting with the lights once it got dark and the reflections on the lake. And then I brought in a, um, a friend of mine, a model, who was here last night with some vintage clothing and I'm, she's gonna come back tomorrow night so I can finish her up, I hope. And um, yeah, I just like the feel of the, the setting and the idea of somebody here after dark. Great. So you've been painting a long time. What's your kind of life history a little bit in a nutshell? <laughs> in a nutshell? I grew up right here. Spent a lot of time in this park when I was a kid, not unlike your boy, I'm sure. Yeah. Um, yeah, so now I've been painting full time for 40 plus years. Wow. So it's been my, art has pretty much been my life. So it feel good to come back and paint Lake Leota again? Well, it does. It's sort of fun coming over to Evansville. I paint in this general area all the time anyway. I don't live that far from here, but um, yeah, it's kind of fun to come back up here and look at it from the eyes of what would make a good painting. Good memories? Oh yeah, absolutely. Lots of, lots and lots and lots of memories. Well, great. I used to work at the swimming pool. I was a basket boy and then a lifeguard and taught swimming lessons and swim team. So I spent a lot of time in this park. It's a great community, isn't it? It is. Or what was. I don't live here anymore. So. Yeah, well we I can... I assume it hasn't changed that much. No. We can vouch for that. <laughs> well great. Well we look forward to seeing your paintings on Sunday and the sale of paintings on Sunday will be fun and, and best of luck to the judging competition on your art. Well, thank you. Thank you.